So we're in the Territory. The runoff has just started. And we've pulled up to this creek here. There's a really nice color change. It looks really good down at the bottom side here, but we put active target in. And what we can see is, is there's some fish here that on top of the eddy, and that's just floating around here. And it's reasonably slack water. While the river's in full flood, this is pumping out. We've got this big eddy here that's creating, it's like slack water. The fish are all milling around in there. We've watched them on active target. I could also see that there's no timber there. It's a nice flat bottom. Because of all of that, I've decided to grab a vibe. Because there's no timber, I've got nice clear country to punch this out there. And while I'm gonna try to find the fish and figure out what they're biting, I'm gonna run through a couple of vibe retrieves to try and figure out what these fish actually wanna eat. Got a Zeric on, baby barra color. I'm gonna flick this one out here. Now the first cast I'm gonna do, cause I'm gonna stay in this area where there's not much current. Your typical vibe retrieve, which is lift it up, let it sink back down. down. Typically with vibes, they'll hit it at the top. So you'll pull up, just as you go to drop it back down, it'll hit. I like to try and keep a little bit of slack line as it's falling. Not too much, so I won't feel a bite, but just enough so the vibe can flutter down naturally. I'll try that retrieve. Now this one, let's go a bit more violent. The violent up. <laughs> violent up. You see, I'm just catching that slack up each time. Violent. Violent. Still winding, nice and violent. No bite. No bite. All right, now I'm gonna show you, I call this the Nige Retrieve. Nigel from the fishing show taught me this one. I'd never seen it before. And it is, it's a very fast retrieve and it works really well in areas we've got nice clear space. Now what it is, is while I'm pulling up violent, I'm gonna put a crank in there as well. So it takes a little bit of coordination, but it's, see that? The Violet Nige Retrieve. Now this one here, the reason that I call it the Nige Retrieve is because we came to the daily one time and filmed, and he schooled me with this. This was the only retrieve the fish were hitting. Same lure, same everything. The retrieve was everything. I can feel it's not swimming. It's another thing to be really careful of with vibes. When you lift up, if you're not feeling the vibration, it's normally because your lure's fouled itself. There we go. Now there's basically, with those as your basic fundamentals on how to retrieve a vibe, make it up as you go. Chuck in a slow retrieve, because there's no rules to this, it's fishing. So you chuck in your slow lift up, and then give it a chuck a couple at the top. Why not? Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. But with those basic fundamentals there guys, you can make up your own retrieves and find out what the fish are eating. So we've just caught a little barramundi here in the territory and it is really hot. Now one way to really look after these fish because we do plan on releasing it is has it have everything ready so that you can grab it out. Now the first thing to make things quicker is get those boga grips in so you've got control of the fish. Boga grips are in. Now I can control his mouth. What I'm going to quickly do with my flies, which I had ready to go, makes things nice and easy. Clear it out of the net. And this is a cool little tip, is get the bogus in before you try to get a hook out. Controls the fish, makes things easier. It means that you can get him up quicker, get your photos and get it back in the water.